we are here with new lesson and uh, today's uh, topic is rules of debit and credit and this lesson is uh, particularly designed for o levels and a levels too so the students of uh, grade 9 and 11 and uh, grade 12 they all can take benefit so i'm masood ahmed and here is my uh, contact at facebook and skype and whatsapp and you can contact me uh, dif uh, through different sources so let's begin our lesson that is rules of debit and credit as you know that uh, every transaction every financial transaction which is occur in the business has two equal facts one is debit and other one is credit and these effects always have the same value okay so debit effect is always equals to credit effect so here uh, through this uh, picture you can see that uh, the both effects if we hold them on a wing scale that left and right both are equal so uh, first of all uh, before we formally start this uh, lecture and uh, just uh, have a brief uh, uh, bird eye view of the lesson which we have prepared uh, which we have uh, done uh, previously so increase in assets or decrease in assets when some asset is uh, coming into your business under the ownership of business Uh, we say that asset is increasing for example if uh, uh, you got cash uh, by selling uh, goods so as cash is your asset is it, it is increasing and when you are paying off uh, some of your expense mean your cash will decrease in this case so here is a uh, here is uh, expenses Uh, so increase in expense or decrease in expense we have explained it earlier and the same goes with uh, incomes when you sell something mean your income is increasing when you uh, when uh, your customer return you back that sales that is known as uh, decreasing income so liability increases liability decreases mean liability increase mean when you take uh, loan or you you bought some goods on credit from your credit suppliers mean your liability is increasing in this case and when you pay off your debt that is uh, the case where the liability is decreasing uh, for you and uh, same goes with capital when the owner of the business put some more money into your business or uh, into the business so capital value of capital is increases and uh, when he take off some money uh, as a drawings or he uh, takes uh, he took some uh, goods and his capital decreases in the, in the business so what is debit and what is credit before we start what is debit and what is credit uh, first of all we have to look at one special thing that is a ledger account So here you can see in the picture that uh, I have made a ledger account that the format of uh, this ledger is in front of you it has two sides one is your left hand side and its name is debit and other one is on credit side its name is credit so in accounting we prepare separate ledgers separate accounts for recording the monetary value of every item which we have in our accounting system for example we have cash with us we have bank balance we have furniture with us we have paid some rent or we have building we have taken some bank loan or capital sale and you can name so many items are there so for each and every item the bookkeeper has to prepare a ledger which is uh, displayed in uh, the diagram over here so it has two sides one is your debit side other one is your credit side so left hand side uh, always reflect your debit uh, is, is name at debit and on the uh, right side of uh, that account is always called credit side 
whether it is your asset or liability or income whatever so uh, this form of uh, account is known as uh, t account its name is t account because it's uh, look like t so an account has two sides uh, if we look at the above ledger we can see it has two sides one is on our left side it is called debit side and and uh, on our right side it is called a credit side so boys uh, from where the debit and credit comes it they came from little word two words were there they used then one was debt term and other one was credit term so we don't uh, want to go into that detail what credit term mean what debt term mean so just we have to uh, understand that in a, in a in a ledger there are only two sides in accounting there are only two things one is debit other one is credit okay so uh, that it, uh, we will we will discuss this uh, when we balance the accounts in the in the next slides so here is a rule of debit and credit on the left side of the page we can see that the ledger is made for assets and expenses whenever asset and expenses increases in your business you place uh, the amount on their debit side and whenever they decreases you place the amount on the credit side okay so for asset and expenses they belong to a same family and rest of the three things they belong to other family so for assets and expenses uh, whenever they increases you just debit on your uh, uh, debit them or place the amount on their debit side and whenever they are decreases in your business they loses their value you just place the amount on their credit side and exactly the opposite rule for the income liability and capital they are they belong to a, a same family whenever they increases there is increase in income there is increase in liability there is increase in capital just place the amount on the credit side of the ledger okay when when they decreases just place the amount on the debit side uh, of the ledger for example income increases place the amount on credit side income decreases place the amount on the debit side and same uh, goes with liabilities and capital okay i hope you understand so uh, here is uh, another way of explaining the rule of debit and credit with the arrow uh, chart here you can see that uh, assets and expenses when they increase we place uh, on the debit side uh, the value and if they decreases uh, we place on the uh, the value on the credit side and uh, exactly opposite thing income liability and capital opposite rule when there is any increase in these three three things uh, income liability and capital you place uh, amount on their credit side and whenever they decreases you place amount on debit side okay well so once again the reinforcement of uh, rule of rules of debit and credit so asset a happy mood if they are uh, if they are increasing place the amount on debit side and uh, when expenses increases place the amount on their debit side as well so if they both are decreasing assets are decreasing place the amount on the credit side expenses are decreasing place the amount on the credit side well uh, here is uh, the discussion which i am making uh, which i am talking about so assets place the amount on the debit side when its value increases and place the amount on the credit side when the value decreases and the same case goes with expenses so for expenses place the amount on the debit side when they are increasing the, there is increase in the value or and place the amount on the credit side when it is decreases in your business so for for incomes and uh, for liabilities and capital we have seen whenever there is increase in any one of the account we just call its ledger account and uh, place the amount on the credit side and whenever there is decrease we place amount on debit side so there is uh, for income liabilities and capitals okay let's see uh, the next slide 
well another uh, uh, format to just uh, remember these things they are they are not difficult they are very easy just you have to remember uh, whenever assets and expenses are increasing they they we have to uh, put the value on the debit side and as I have already told you that there are only two things in accounting one is debit other one is credit if something is increasing and you place on debit side and if it decreases you place on credit side so uh, this table shows in detail uh, when asset increases place the amount on the debit side of the ledger when it decreases you place the amount on the credit side of the ledger and expenses uh, you place uh, the amount on the debit side when there is increase in as uh, expenses in your, of your business and place the amount on the credit side when expenses decreases incomes liabilities and capital always place the amount on their credit side if they are increasing and place the amount on the debit side if there is any decrease in any one of uh, the things well boys uh, for you you have to uh, uh, prepare or complete this table for me and uh, just send me on whatsapp my whatsapp number okay well rule of debit and credits uh, let, uh, let's uh, do some transaction and uh, and we we will see that how it's uh, appear in our ledger uh, transaction number one is this the business started with the cash 5000 furniture 2000 and motor vehicle 3000 so the owner of the business has uh, given these things to you as a bookkeeper what will you do you have to prepare cash account separate furniture account separate and motor vehicle separate and all of the three things are assets and you have to place the value on their debit side for example cash you got five five thousand you place uh, in the cash account on the debit side five thousand and for furniture what will you do definitely furniture is increasing your business and you have to place on the debit side or, or dollar two thousand and what about motor vehicle it is also increasing your business and you have to place amount on the debit side and what these are the debit effect of uh, your transaction and what is the credit effect of this transaction this transaction from where all these things uh, comes uh, uh, they, they came from from which source basically you have to record the source from where you got that assets the source is this that uh, the owner has invested these things so your 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 source is second effect is your source and that is capital so capital is increasing in your business and uh, the owner can say that okay i have given you this and this and that so you have to rec record these uh, things uh, as well so from where you got these things you you got thing from owners so mean capital is there so the second factor your transaction is uh, 10000 you got from the owner so you have to prepare capital account and capital is increasing your business you have to place on your debits uh, credit side that is dollar 10000 well so here are, are some uh, facts being a bookkeeper accountant of the business answer the following question okay number one question is how much cash do you have after this first transaction can anybody tell me okay second question is this that how much value of furniture do you have after first transaction how much uh, value of motor vehicle do you have in your business after this and last how much capital you have uh, uh, business owed to the owner and uh, and means what is the value of your capital can you answer okay let's see so here is uh, again once again rule of debit and credit first transaction we have already discussed uh, the effect on the debit side of the cash furniture motor vehicle and on the credit side of the capital let's see what happened if uh, if you bought some office uh, computer for dollar 200 in cash what will happen cash will 
cash will be drained out from your business so you have to place your your cash asset cash is your asset it is it is decreasing and you have to place the amount on its credit side as you can see uh, the cash account over here if 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 uh, here is my cursor so 200 uh, on your credit side and uh, same value same value is given to the computer because your computer you have bought you have bought your asset that is 200 so so, so here is a credit effect is debit effect so both effects are equal so in any case your your debit and credit is equal so here are uh, the question I have asked earlier then how much cash do you have after after second transaction how much cash do you have previously you had uh, 5000 and out of 5000 you have paid 200 so what would be the balance of your cash with you okay you have to tell me a furniture is there any change no there is not any change so uh, furniture value will remain the same motor vehicle will remain the same and honor capital there isn't any change of this transaction there isn't any effect of this transaction on owners capital but there is a change uh, in computer uh, because previously you don't have computer you have bought now so it will affect two ledgers one is your uh, cash other one is your computer computer is increasing and the cash is decreasing okay you have to tell me uh, these things today we have a lot of assignments for you previously i have asked you two things so here is a uh, uh, assignment for you you have to prepare on uh, uh, on a piece of paper just uh, and uh, take a pic and then send me with your name prepare all the ledger account t account of the following transaction you have to prepare each and every account and just remember that if you if you uh, prepare cash account for example uh, and you need not to prepare another cash account so only one account for each uh, item is prepared if there is increase you have to just place debit side uh, entry and if there is another increase uh, once again so you have uh, to again write uh, the value on the debit side and if there is any decrease in that particular asset place entry on the credit side and do not make uh, more and more cash count only one cash count will be there and you have to just uh, just place the entries so there are five entries business started office furniture bought second third paid rent okay rent is your expense expense is increasing and your cash is decreasing you can easily uh, make this entry in your ledgers open business bank account by depositing so bank account is uh, being opened by a business previously it was not there so in this case one asset is increasing other one is decreasing and uh, in in fifth you took a loan after taking a loan you know that uh, whenever bank uh, grants you some loan or give you some loan uh, they just deposit the amount in your bank account and uh, so your bank will increase in this case and uh, uh, from where this uh, balance comes the it comes from a source which is bank loan it is your liability so liability is increasing in this case okay so assignment two that's a basically technically assignment four but it's two prepare all the ledger account of the following transaction here are following transactions and uh, you have to prepare the account you can pause the video and just uh, write down note down all the assignments from here okay and let's see uh, how your assignment looks like okay well boys uh, here is a recap once again assets and expenses whenever they increase you place on debit side whenever they are decreasing uh, place the value on the credit side of the ledger and income liabilities and capital whenever they are increasing place the amount on their debit uh, credit side and when there is any decrease uh, in any three of uh, the following uh, place the amount on their 
ledger account on debit side so that is uh, another uh, question which you have to uh, forward me okay you uh, have uh, uh, five days for all these assignments okay and till friday you have to submit uh, these uh, assignments to me okay from book uh, that is chapter number two page 27 i will share in your uh, uh, the pick of that uh, assignment on on whatsapp okay so our next lesson would be about uh, well and uh, see you in the next lesson uh, that will be about ledgers and uh, inshallah see you there okay till then allah this